Hey there, Internet. I'm Kyle. Apparently, I'm back actually making videos. So, um, I've been gone for a while. Um, life's weird. Got a new job in an entirely new industry. Uh, had school going on. Uh, lots of other crazy life changes have happened in the past, what has it been, like almost six months. Um, but it is summer vacation for me. And I decided I wanted to get back into doing some of these, um, see if people still care. So I've decided um, I'm going to start a series on a game I like. And I know I have a lot of unfinished series. I honestly don't know if I'll actually get around to finishing those, unfortunately. Um, that's going to kind of be the name of the game, is if people really start to like these and comment, I'll keep doing them, or I'll keep doing them until they're no longer fun, or whatever. There's a lot of games coming out this summer I want to do some playthroughs of. Um, but I thought right now, what would be a good game for me to get back into is a game I'm very familiar with, a game I don't know if a lot of people know about, um, and that is Felseal, the Arbiter's Mark. So, this is fan service to Final Fantasy Tactics perfected. Um, I've already beaten this game. I think I have over a hundred hours in this at this point on Steam. Um, but I wanted to share this with people because if you like this channel, I presume it's probably because you watched my Ogre Battle series. And I'm a huge JRPG fan, specifically tactical RPGs. Um, and this is one of the best modern ones I've played. There's a couple others I plan on tackling soon. I'm doing at least a couple videos on. Um, but this is the one we're going to start with because, A, I've already beaten it. Two, one issue with playing tactical RPGs in a Let's Play setting is um, oftentimes they're very long, the battles are very long, but with this one, it actually offers a new game plus, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to play through the story, new game plus, I'm going to bring over uh, my characters from my previous playthrough, um, who are all super powerful. Um, We'll go ahead and get into it. I'll, I'll walk you through my process because I'm not sure the exact setup I'm going to do because it offers a lot of options for new games or new game plus as far as what you can do with it. So we'll look at some of these. Um, so yeah, based off my big file here. Uh, so I will carry over our ability points and classes from the previous enemy abilities. Yeah, that's fine. Recruits. I'll also carry over and be available from the... Uh... Hmm. Sure, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, we'll keep... Basically, I'm just trying to think of what I don't want to bring over so that it's interesting. Because I don't think it would be a very good series if I brought over literally everything and just powered my way through the game. I want there to be something we have to go through. Um, I do want to kind of plow through this. I want to show you guys the story, show you the system, show you some of the things I've found that are kind of game-breaking builds or just really good ones, or really fun ones. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do that, but... Oh my gosh, permadeath? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's spicy. Alright, so. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to do a permadeath run, which basically means um, if someone's injured, which means they go down in combat... It's going to, A, give them a permanent negative 5 on a random stat, or 5% on a random stat, um, but also if they suffer 5 injuries throughout this playthrough, they're out. Um, I think that's going to make it so I have to eventually use everyone in my party, and honestly, from the get-go, um, if you're seeing this, throw your name in the comments. I'm probably going to grab a couple extra recruits just so we have some backup plans. Um, but without further ado, let's go. In the nice dark great. days of centuries past, another worldly beast known as the Ma appeared in Diora, leaving ruin in its wake. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but the heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. Slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. And it never did. But power. 
powerful as the immortals may be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? All right. Lore. So, um, I will say one thing about this game's art style is initially I really was not a huge fan, but after playing it for so long, it has really grown on me. Um, mostly the character designs, like the, the portraits are good, the cutscenes are good, it's just the actual sprites. Um, not my favorite, they look very like, um, oh my god, what was that, Habbo Hotel? <laughs> it looks like a... They came from a game in the early 2000s that you play on your parents' PC and they get mad at you about. Um, but it does eventually grow on you. Or at least it did with me. Any hoozle. Good work, Anadine. You handled yourself well. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Violent confrontation isn't always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is an equally important skill for an arbiter. Of course, you're right, Captain. If you think this series is going to have consistent voices, you are wrong. Are you sure Raynor knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yes, he knows. But knowing Raynor, he's probably... Did you hear that? I didn't. Help! Please! Anyone! It sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. Eee! Ooh! Big murders, right out of the gate. What is the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Pesky witnesses? What a bother. You, hireling, earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. All right. So this is our first uh, combat. This is basically like Orban Monastery in Tactics, where it's, well, and this one's much harder to lose. So, um, let me go ahead and cycle through. That is a story character. So we have me. So I am a werewolf fellblade. Uh, Rachel, who is based off of uh, my fiance, uh, Vampire War Mage. James, um, if you've watched my Final Fantasy Tactics series or any, really any of them, he's always in here. He's our witch sorcerer. Holt. Is our Lord slash Templar. Matt's a regular gadgeteer. Davis has a scoundrel. Brian Druid Alchemistic. Shane Lord Reva. Timmy War Mage Gambler. And uh, Brandon as well. Uh, also, Meatball's here. And Meatball's also here. Say hi, friend. Anyway. Um, and I think I have some random other ones from my previous playthrough. Yeah. These guys are less important, but they're here. So, um, I guess I'll go with me. And yeah, I'll kind of show you what, I guess, the classes do as we go along. So, uh, I only get one for this combat. Uh, what is the button to go? Oh, this is our actual character select screen. <laughs> my bad. Um. All right. Oh, T, not G. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so, um, yeah. My character, he is a werewolf slash fellblade. Fellblade is basically um, kind of your dark sword art from Final Fantasy Tactics, except instead of it being, like, a really ranged attack, they have this ability called Dark Blade, and it goes a couple spaces forward, and it can pierce through. So if I targeted someone here, it wouldn't affect this guy, but it would hit this guy. Um... And basically, it's all dark damage, so it's important to have a decent intelligence with them, which I do not. But they can be pretty useful. Um, they also inflict status ailments. And then Werewolf is one of the um, hidden classes you can unlock in this game. And Werewolf essentially is just a savage beast. Um, these two play really well together. 
because a werewolf has a lot of other cool status ailment stuff but this ability right here regular uh, focused rage basically you occur MP in this you don't start with your full amount you occur it during combat um, randomly by just waiting around and not using it or using items to fill it this just lets me dump all of my MP into an attack so I can do crazy big damage uh, one of the other reasons um, I, I'm using Werewolf stacked with Fellblade is they both, when you master classes, they can give you bonuses to stats as well as things like um, this right here is your critical hit chance. And as you can see, I always crit because I've just stacked everything in order to do that. So I'm basically kind of a uh, kind of a glass cannon crit fishing build, except I don't even fish, I just get them. Anyway, let's just keep going. So... Uh, let's see, I'll just do an attack, see how much it can do. Yeah, you can already see I'm just going to do an absolute butt-ton of damage. The beginning of this game should be pretty easy. Yeah. Bye, dude. Combat over. Did it. Ah, enough. I yield. A wise choice of a bit late in the coming. Exciting combat. Ladies, there you are. What's this? You didn't tell me we were going to a party. He's our uh, Han Solo. Reiner, at last. Weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? We could have used your help with these thugs. No matter, this gentleman kept us company, and now we will show our gratitude by providing him with a nice, comfy cell. You cannot be serious! Do you not know who I am? I am a lord, Lord Alphonse to be precise. As a nobleman of the realm, I command you to release me. Slaying an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate the witness to your foul crime, and now resisting lawful arrest? There are limits to your privileges of nobility, as you are about to learn. Hmm, an arbiter, and a simpleton, I see. Very well, let us proceed with the farce if we must. Bring me to the Arbiter's Chapter House for my trial. I hate this guy. Are you suddenly struck dumb as well as simple? The nice children does not agree with me. Make haste and escort me to the chapter house, winch. Reiner, I've decided to make a small detour to, detour to a luster. We will personally deliver this nobleman to the main chapter house. Clever. I wonder how much sway the little lordling has in the luster. Very little, I suspect. Gather our people and make everything ready. We move at first light. On it. Now, to ensure you are comfortable for the trip. Outrageous! Simply outrageous! Simmer down or I'll pull out a gag next. No one bothers watching the gags in between prisoners, mind you. Very well. What about the other one, Captain? Just a henchman. We'll drop him off at the local chapter house. No need to cart them both all the way to a luster. Let's head for a luster now. I'm sure our eminent guest is eager to get started on his trial. All right. The journey may be treacherous. We should shop, stop at the local guild here in Gailey and hire more hands for the road. An extra recruit would go a long way. Yeah, like I said, um, if you want to be part of this, um, go ahead and comment down below. I don't know how many people I'll be able to add, but um, at least two or three. And we're going to start at level one, so you would actually be someone to scale through this playthrough as well. Um, any hoozle, let's get to the crossroads. I want to try and make some progress on this episode, not make it way extra long. Kyrie. Yes, I noticed. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anadine. Spotted. Oh, well, you arbiters are very every bit as sharp as they say. But much friendlier. Well met, friend. <sighs> if 
you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, step aside. Of course, I will make it quick for you. Hand over that nobleman tra traipsing along at your heels, and everyone else can be on their merry way, safe and sound. What a splendid idea. Quiet. Safety and soundness first. Exactly my own philosophy. But first, tell me, just what is it you want with our bejeweled guest? Funny you should ask. From what I've been hearing lately, I bet you Arbutus wouldn't mind a taste of this action yourselves, eh? Hmm. Alright, here it is. This rich fop will pay us handsomely for his freedom. Hand him over, and 20% of the fee is yours to divide amongst yourselves. No one ever need know an arbiter was involved in our little transaction. I get what I want, you get paid, and your reputation will remain spotless as a luster peaks. Win, win, win. Is there a fourth win I'm missing? Well, what do you say? Do we have a deal? I don't know, Kyrie. Only 20%? Captain! Enough. We haven't time to exchange banter with these fools. As for you lot, attempted bribery, intimidation, interfering in arbiter business, serious crimes. The, cr the kind that should see every one of you decorating the trees. But get out of our way and I'll forget I ever saw your faces. That is my final and only counteroffer. Signal that you accept before I change my mind. Tch. Of all the doomy luck, we just had to run to the one clean arbiter within a hundred leagues. Jump lively, boys. It looks like we must earn our prize today. No survivors. No witnesses. All right. Real combat time. Ish. Defeat all foes. That shouldn't be too bad. All right. So, I guess now we're actually going to see a couple more of our units here. So, um, I'll throw me back out there because I'm an absolute beast. Uh, Rachel as well. Who else do we want? Let's bring out... Hmm. I'm trying to think of who's going to be. Dang, Corey, you have a lot of MP for a level 1. I don't know how good James is going to be at this low of a level, but we'll um, bring him out. Because I'm pretty confident in our ability to win this, even if he doesn't have enough MP to do much. Alright. Let's go. All right, so I already kind of went over what I do. Um, so one thing I do like to do, because I can't really reach anyone this round, is kind of move into a position where they're going to be within reach, and then I use regenerate. So basically, I'm just casting uh, regen on myself. I call it renewing this. So that should be pretty good. Um, so Reiner's actually really, really good once you get him going. Um, because he gets his own class. I don't know if I actually have it assigned right now. I think I was training him under uh, other things, but... So it looks like he's got scoundrel stuff. Okay, so actually... Let me check what's going to be my best bet here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... Do Fleet of Foot. I probably should have just waited. So Fleet of Foot is going to increase both of our movement by one space. I'll kind of move him in the same way where he can't be flanked and wait it out. Um, so Rachel is a vampire slash battle mage. Battle mage is, or war mage, I'm sorry, is one of the best classes in this game because basically um, they're kind of like a magus if you've ever played Pathfinder where they can infuse their weapon attacks with magic energy of different elements and it all depends on uh, the range of that weapon. So if you wanted to use a bow or a sword you can basically cast spells at that range. And Rachel's actually dual wielding pistols. So, go with Fused Edge. Get some lightning. And yeah, this is the range of her spells. So, I think I'm just going to go straight for the boss here. Yeah, she should just absolutely destroy her. Crit. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, like I said, this is probably going to be a very um, easy-peasy playthrough. Just because I want this to go fast. <laughs> um, Anadine, um, I don't think she has her class either. She's just kind of training, so we'll keep her there. 
Andy, why don't I give you a quick refer uh, refresher on items? I'm I'm good. I know. Did you guys know if that you click items and then click on the space you want to use the item, you use the item. Uh, I will say one cool thing about this game is you don't have like you have an inventory of items, but you don't buy them constantly. You basically get this many uses of them per combat. So, oh, you can't see it because of my big old head. Here, let me uh yeah, your guys wait. So yeah, you basically get to craft these items, which this game has a very expensive crafting system, and you get this many uses of them per. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool difference between this and tactics. So, um, go ahead and move. Move the Kyrie up as well. All right, so this is where I'm gonna figure out if James actually has the ability to do anything. <laughs> You can definitely teleport like a cool guy. Um, let's see. So he's a sorcerer. Sorcerers basically get um, entire field affecting spells. So, oh, he actually does have. Oh, that's right. So that's why he's going to be useful at this stage in the game. So sorcerers basically get spells that are going to hit everything on the field. I know you can't see some of these behind my big old head. Um, but essentially. If I cast one of these, it's going to target every single enemy on the board. He's also a Lich, which means instead of MP, he can sac... Well, he doesn't get to choose. He sacrifices his HP to cast spells. So that's why he can cast a bunch of big stuff right out of the gate. So... I might just goof this and just go big here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go with Void Storm. Oh, someone's got some reactions. Yeah, so Thorns basically is anytime they get hit with a melee attack now, or actually I think it's any ability, they're going to deal a small amount of damage back to us. Oh, I forgot James has this as well. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. So I'm actually, instead of hitting them again, I'm going to use Reanimate to bring back uh, Delphine as a zombie. <laughs> Yeah, this game gets absolutely nutty. Because you can do some really hilarious stuff once you start getting those late level, or late game classes. They're very powerful. Alright. So. I don't have cool teleport powers. I have werewolfy powers. So let's see here. I'm trying to think if I have... I think one of my werewolf abilities lets me hit two people at once. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna... She has an MP shield, though, so that's kind of worthless. Hmm. Deal in a large area. Alright. Whatever. We'll just attack. There's your MP. There's your life. Goodbye. Kyrie, mark you that sizable trap door. I think they might have reinforcements waiting below. Oh no. Well spied. If one of us stands directly upon it, that should keep it sealed against any new enemies. Agreed. We must move quickly if we plan to secure it. They could strike at any moment. Alright, get him, Reiner. Yeah, we got big boy gear, too. Yeah, I'm hoping this scales up a little better. <laughs> At some point. Alright. Yeah, hit him with that infused edge. Rachel. Absolute silly amounts of damage. Uh oh. They hit Reiner. All right. Good job, everybody.
This used to be an inn. Quite a prosperous one, if I remember all right. Burned down in a marauder attack last year. And no arbiters nearby to prevent it. You lose to that scoundrel's claim about arbiters taking bribes. Nothing but a desperate attempt to talk their way out of a fight. I don't believe a word of it. And yet here we are, dragging that foppish nobleman. <laughs> it's like the third time someone's called him a fop and I love it. <laughs> that foppish nobleman around because we can't quite trust the local chapter house. That's a long enough break. We need to keep moving if we're to reach a luster before nightfall. I'll make sure everyone's ready. Do you need a breather after that, Anadine? Hmm, I guess it can't hurt. If we're not in a rush, thanks, Captain. Occasionally a note on the world map will be marked with the exclamation point symbol. Okay, optional character events. Cool. Um... All right, guys, so I'm actually going to call an episode right there. I don't want these to be super overly long. Um, but if you guys do enjoy this, um, it sure would be nice if you let me know down below. Um, give this video a like, comment, subscribe if you aren't already. Um, heck, if you want and you know a cool place to share this video, uh, maybe do that too. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Kyle, apparently, and I will see you next time.